Before we start the video guys, I would like to give a huge shout out to FM Mobile. They're the number one page if you guys want to get uh, custom kits, custom badges uh, for your Football Manager Mobile 2019 game as well as other previous editions. So check their page out, they have other useful mods you can implement in your game as well. Hey guys and welcome back to a new part of our Football Manager series with Liverpool. Hope you guys have been enjoying my other series on the side, Reviving Messi, also part of the Football Manager series where we attempt to get him back on track with his Argentinian career. But anyway, let's head back to our Liverpool career. And we, in this episode, are going to be versing Leicester and Watford. And be... Sorry, take notice of this. In the next episode after this, we first Juventus and Man City, both away, both very difficult matches. And the first spot could be up for grabs, uh, depending on the results after these two matches. So Manchester United still have that game in hand. They could over over um, overleap us and Manchester City onto first place. So we'll have to keep an eye on their result with whoever they're versing. But anyway, we've got a Salah fit finally. It's just um who oh Manchester Manchester United just won their game. They do are in first place with one point more. Two days left until our home game against Leicester. It should be a good one. Leicester not in the best of form. They've only won two games from the last five. Liverpool play away to Wolves in the... Oh, Solanke got selected in the team of the week. Let's check it out. Troy Deeney, a couple of Watford players, Bournemouth and a couple of Burnley players. And uh, Chelsea signing Emerson again. He's on the team of the week for the second week running, I think. I saw him there a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, Liverpool play to Wolves away in the FA Cup third round. Okay, guys, let's see how Chirivella played in his last game. He's not playing too badly, if I'm being honest. Uh, when did we sign him? I don't, don't like Oh, he's a lone player. Okay, who's still injured? Firmino's still injured. How much has he got? Three weeks. We should maybe get him back for the Juventus game. That would be ideal. I mean, I'm loving the way uh, Solanke is playing, but I know Firmino's a big game player and he could get some goals. But anyway... Let's head back into the game. We're going to keep the same formation that did get us to win last game. And let's head straight into it. Let's go, guys. Leicester get the other kickoff. We need to be careful of Jamie Vardy. And just as I said, that Jamie Vardy nearly got on the counter-attack. Good defensive play from Liverpool. And also good counter-attack from Leicester. Oh, what a terrible ball to Mane. He just couldn't control it. First minute, okay, we've got an early chance here. Keita to Mane. Who's he going to pass to Salah? To Solanke. Solanke puts the ball away in. Oh, my God. Second minute goal for the youngster. And that's his, what, fifth in four games? Absolutely beautiful from him. It's a revelation so far that he's playing well because Firmino was a very important player. But his Keita gets the ball off him. Oh, very bad. Oh, no. Oh, Alisson with some brilliant save. Keita to Mane. This is end-to-end -end play. Ah, oh, misplaced pass. It could have been a goal. Very, very end-to-end. -end -end. Here's Robertson to Van Dijk to Salah. He needs to cross this inside. He doesn't cross it in perfectly. Keita. Oh. It should have been a goal. Corner. Chiravella takes it. Who's in there? Liverpool. Who's in there? Van Dijk. Yes, Van Dijk. That's his second goal. Oh, that's been disallowed. Ah. Oh. Man, it should have been at least 3-0 by now. The chances we've had. Schmeichel's playing a very good game as well. So I can't fault my, all my players. Fabinho, what a beautiful counter-attack. Oh, Solanke just couldn't get the touch. That He would have been on one-on-one, -on -one, the keeper, with that one. It is Alexander Arnold. Very good. From the byline, he could he needs to get across in. Oh, it's a corner for Liverpool. Man, we're playing some really good football. I'm liking this. Very good football. Anyway, another corner. Joel Gomez takes it. Who's in there? No one. Oh, we need to watch out. Leicester back on the ball. Intercept, intercept. Okay, nothing comes with it, thankfully. We've got a very, very thin margin of a lead. Just 1-0. So we need to be very careful. Yellow card. Who is it for? Doesn't tell me. Unless I didn't really look. Okay. I'm looking forward to this half time. It could give our chance uh, time to clear their heads and get a new game plan on the way. We're not playing bad, but um, we need to take our chances more seriously. Let's head into the second half. Kick off Liverpool, okay. 
Nothing probably is going to come of this. It's going to blend in with the match. Just has an opening highlight. Yeah, there we go. 60th minute, guys. Oh, let's have a very dangerous, good clearance from Mane. Oh, what's going on? Bakar gets a very good save. Chirovella makes a very good clearance. But we're still in danger here. We're not looking too comfortable on counter-attacks. Bakar, who's this? Two, oh, what? oh, Mane. Yes, Mane, come on. He needs to cross this in. Salah, yes, two 0 Let's go. I thought that I thought that pass was too overpowered, and I thought it would overlap uh, Salah and Salanki. But Salah just manages to put that one in, and let's make our change. Um, our first change of the night. Eightieth minute, guys. Uh, Salah's looking a bit weary again. Let's put him off. That injury still. Catching up to him slightly, and um, yeah, Fabinho's getting a bit tired. We're gonna have to put Henderson on for him, and just as we did last game as well, just put on a fresh few legs. Only got nine minutes, and we do have a 2 0 lead, but we're not getting complacent. We've got Watford after this, I think, so we need to be in very good form for that one. Uh, Leicester doing a couple changes of their own, five minutes left till half to final time. Come on, we just need to hold that for four more minutes plus at a time. Chiravella, he gets a yellow card. He's not been playing too bad. He's, he did that beautiful clearance early on in the game, which really scared me because they Leicester were just going about to get a goal. So he's been playing well. Solanke, who's he's going to pass to? Uh, Alexander Arnold. He needs to cross this in. Oh, it's an indirect. Oh, Alexander Arnold's uh, hurt. When I put on Klein for him, that's not really good. Alexander Arnold's a very important game uh, game player. Oh, let's see if we can manage to avenge him maybe with a goal. What was that? That's a corner, okay. Damn, though. Alexander Aldo was a really good player. Sad to see him go off injured. Hopefully, it's nothing long term. Another corner. Uh, Leicester just trying to hold out, but it doesn't come to anything uh, because the match is over, guys. Um, Never mind the result for now. I'm just looking forward to see if Alexander Arnold is injured and how for how long. Oh, he's injured out for two months. Oh, damn. Shit, fam. Oh, now we've asked Watford away. Let's see what that win puts us in the table. We are once again level on points with Manchester City and Manchester United. Are now trailing by one point. Uh, so the table shifted quite quickly. Uh, Chelsea are back on form. They're 28 points. But now we need to be careful because we've got Watford and we are missing a very important right back, Alexander Arnold. Dan Daniel Sturridge is back from injury. Good for him. Damn. Let's see how Klein copes. Hopefully he's all good. But a bit worried. Uh but anyway, we're gonna keep the lineup the same because we haven't do we have been doing well against previous teams. So let's head into the game. Salah should be fresh. He keeps picking up this little knock towards the 70th, mi 70th minute, which is a bit concerning. We'll see how we'll monitor his situation and see how he plays um, in today's game. I can't really see, I can't even see that ball. What the hell is that color? Robertson to Keita. Could we get another chance? Salanke. Oh, he just gets dispossessed. Unlucky. That was a good chance. Uh, Watford on the counter attack, but nothing comes of it. Thankfully, uh, Liverpool once again. On the count, not really on the counter, but they're on the attack. Klein, oh, that should have been a save. Oh, sorry, that should have been a goal. What am I saying? I'm just getting caught up with the play. But anyway, it was a good save. And what for keeper Gomez puts this in, and it's a goal kick. I think Van Dyke. Yeah, that was Van Dyke. Twenty fifth minute, guys. Good pressure from Liverpool so far. We're keeping them boxed into their own half. Fabinho, beautiful clearance. Oh, Solanke tried. He rushed that shot a bit. He saw the keeper out of his box. Sorry, out of his little goal line. And he tried to get a shot on, but that went way too wide. Oh, Watford have a good chance to counter-attack. Good clearance, but he doesn't get this in the core. Oh, it's a goal kick for Liverpool. I thought that went straight in the top corner. That ball colour is really annoying me. I don't know what this game is doing, choosing that kind of colour. But anyway, nothing comes to that. Half-time approaching. We need to be patient with this game. Watford are a really solid team, especially with Troy Deeney. And I know Roberto Pereira is a very good team player as well. Tottenham are leading Arsenal 3-1. Just um, if you guys are interested to know. 
Okay, let's see how this game goes. Good passing from Watford. Uh, Robertson, very good disposition. Nothing comes of it. Don't know why. A uh, corner kick, nevertheless, for Liverpool. Gomez takes it. Who's in there? And Solanke gets the header. It's 1-0 for Liverpool. Solanke, very good with headers. He's been He's been scoring a lot of crosses, as well as one-on-ones. So I'm happy to see the youngster back on the score sheet. He's on a five-game, six-game consecutive scoring run. So it's brilliant to see him. Uh... Taking advantage of that starting lineup, which was Mane, I mean, for Minos, but obviously he's injured. 66 minute, guys. A good chance to counter attack Mane. Solanke. To Salah, he needs to score this. Salah. Yes, Salah. Yes. That's it. Salah back in. That's his third, fourth goal for the season. 68th minute, guys. Oh, gonna prepare that second half change. What for? I'm making change of their own. Okay, guys, let's make the change right now. We are leading, dominating in every category, and which is good to see. Let's see how Salah's doing. Hopefully, oh, he's, look, he's, he's got that little knock again. He gets every end of the game, but it's fine. We're 2-0 up. Let's put on Shakiri and let's put on Lana for Mane. We're going to keep that second with that third and last change uh, for later on. In fact, let's make it now. Let's put Henderson again. Actually, who hasn't been performing well? Everyone's been performing well. But let's let's um put on Henderson for Fabinho again. Ninety six minute. Sorry, ninety second. What we're saying. Watford get a chance to score maybe. Chirovella clears his lines very good. And that's a 2-0 win, guys. Solanke, once again, the score sheet. Let's take a look at the Premier League table before we go quickly. Liverpool take the lead, guys, in the Premier League table. They are first now. Uh, one point above Manchester United and three points above Manchester City. All is going well at the moment for us. So I'm happy to see that. Tottenham Arsenal, not, not doing too well. Um, but anyway, Fulham, Leicester and Cardiff are the relegation candidates at the moment. It's too early on in the season to decide. Let's check Solanke's little goal scoring run. He's on seven goals in seven games. What more can you want from a 21 year old pole chart from England? Hopefully he gets called. He already got called to the, to the English lineup. Hopefully he gets more games under his belt. And uh, let's see Salah's uh, form at the moment. 15 games and four goals and seven assists. That one more can you want from inside forward? He's getting goals himself and also providing assists to the strikers and everyone else around him. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you in the next game. Peace.